swing that keeps the batter guessing and even inspires alliterative headlines. Let's take a closer look. One side of the cricket ball is shiny, the other side is rough, and the C is up straight. As the ball cuts through the ear, it bifurcates the ear at the C. On the shiny side, the ear flows smoothly, a laminar flow. And on the rough side, the ear flows chaotically, a turbulent flow. The ear glides along the shiny side and leaves the shiny surface earlier than the ear on the rough surface. When the ear of the shiny side leaves the surface of the ball early, the ball experiences a force in the opposite direction towards the rough side. As a result, the ball swings towards the rough side or away from the right-handed batter. To understand this better, imagine a jetpack with two outlet nozzles. If the right side nozzle is fired first, which direction do you think it will fly? Yes, exactly to the left. This is what we call the conventional outswing. Similar with the rough side and the right, once again the ball swings towards the rough side to achieve conventional inswing. That's what I'm coming. 